Thank you very much indeed. Good evening. How are we all doing? We all good? Yes. Fantastic. Pleasure to be here. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. So, um, what I normally do at this point of the show before going any further with the, the music is give you a very quick music history lesson in case there's any curious people out there, okay? So, uh, if we've got any ELO fans in the house yeah. tonight, yeah. you will of course know that the lead singer is a guy called Jeff Lynne. Now, basically, uh, what happened was it was around 1989, Jeff decided that he didn't want to tour anymore. He'd had enough of the live work, and he actually wanted the band to stop there and then. Uh, Bev Bevan is the drummer and co-founder of ELO, and also co-owner of the name, and uh, he decided that he did want the band to continue. So the two of them put their heads together, struck a bit of a deal, and... Uh, Yours truly was brought in on guitar and vocals, and thus ELO Part 2 was born. So that's the story behind that, in case anyone was wondering. It was an incredible thing to be a part of. Toured the world with the guys many, many times, uh, everywhere from Wembley Arena to the Hollywood Bowl. Took the massive spaceship on the road with us. We also managed to take an 80-piece orchestra on the road. Now, if there's any people out there interested in going bankrupt really quickly, <laughs> Excellent way to do it, almost guaranteed. Now, uh, I'm going to do a song for you right now, which I do believe you will know. Uh, whether you heard the name Yellow or not, you will have, uh, you'll know this song. Massive hit single, been around forever. I've uh, been in lots of different movies, the most recent of which is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And suddenly, Uncle Neil became very cool with his young nephews for the very first time. They couldn't care less before that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do this song. I want you to feel free to lose your inhibitions, join in on the backing vocals. Take it away, sound. I think you'll know what I mean in a minute. Yeah. 
beginning there you might have been mistaken for thinking that a giant tumbleweed had blown across the stage and affixed itself to my head but that was actually uh, all my own hair and uh, I'm very proud of the fact that I've still got all of that hair it's in a box at home it's, uh, a little souvenir of the past take it away sound talking of souvenirs of the past hope this one brings back a few nice memories for you it does for me.
you very much. Well, I guess uh, everybody recognised the Beatle on the screen earlier, yes? Yeah. Difficult not to, so lingo. It was an absolute uh, pleasure and a privilege to play with a real live Beatle. I'm a huge Beatles fan, so to be on stage with one was uh, something quite extraordinary, let me tell you, how we did a series of wonderful gigs with him. Um, that particular clip you saw was uh, Michael Jackson and Friends. Uh, it was Munich Olympic Stadium. Probably about 90,000 people there that particular day. So it was a bit like this, really. <laughs> Same sort of thing. I always just ask this question, just in case there's any eagle-eyed people out there who might have noticed. Did anybody see who the bass player was? He was on that side of the screen, playing bass and singing with us. Anybody notice him? It was actually Jack Bruce from Cream. So it was any blues fan. I'm a huge blues fan as well, so Jack Bruce and Ringo on stage at the same time. Something pretty special, let me tell you. So we're going to do the song that we did with Ringo that day, and uh, when it gets going properly, I would like you, the Ventura Choir, in all your glory, to take the roof off this place. I can have great confidence in you. Before that, I've written a special guitar intro, which I do hope you will enjoy. And this, this incorporates a sneaky little hidden ELO song, okay? It's a, it's a bit of an obscure one, so it's something for the diehard fans. You can see if you spot it. throwing a bit of Hendrix in just for the sake of it. <laughs> Hendrix on a cruise, whatever next. Here's the proper intro. Let me read that I will 
special people, most special people in my lives actually. Um, well, we've got my, my family on board, which is absolutely brilliant, so I'd like to do this next song for my beautiful wife Sarah and my wonderful son Gabriel. Love you both to death. Gonna keep on a rocking and a rolling with this one. This is, uh, this is Hold On Tight. Here we go. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> See 
this is the part of the show we like to call Lockwood's Piano Party. And what we like to do here is get a bit of whooping going on, a bit of hollering going on, a bit of foot stomping, a bit of hand clapping, a bit of this and a bit of that, and turn it into a party right here. So, I think we need a little rehearsal. Can I get a whoop? Woo! Can we get a holler? Ah! Any screamers out there? Ah! Thank you, sir. That was brilliant. <laughs> now, we put that together with some hand claps. She goes like this. participation begins. <laughs> now what we like to do in this next song is uh, split the room into two halves, right down the middle here. Into this half, into this half, all the way up to the back. And you guys are going to sing one part, 
and you guys are going to sing another. It's going to be extraordinary. <laughs> I can hardly wait. <laughs> Take it away, sound. Don't bring me down. Don't let me down. <laughs>
flies when you're having fun. And we've come to the last song. Oh. It's actually much sadder than that. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> this is just it's been an absolute pleasure playing for you tonight. So, so thank you so much for coming along. I know a lot of you have come a long way to be here tonight. So, <laughs> thank you for that. Before I go any further, I've got a couple of thank yous to do here. Could you please put your hands together for this extraordinary band, the Ventura Orchestra, led by Robert. Please keep that applause going for our sound and our lights and our backstage boys. Make them make them Fantastic. Okie dokie. One last very special Christmas announcement here. I've got a CD for sale. <laughs> so, so anybody who's interested, I'll be out there after the show on deck seven with my little table, CDs, hot dogs, popcorn, hamburgers. If you want to come and get a CD, or if you just want to come up and say hi, or if you want to get a picky or whatever, please do. <laughs> I shall be there for a little while after the show. Once again, thank you so much for coming along. It's been a beautiful Christmas night to play for you. Thank you so much. You've been wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, this last song I would like to dedicate to the genius of Mr. Jeff Lynn and to the genius of Mr. Chuck Berry. And last but not least, to the genius of Mr. Ludwig van Beethoven. Though what he would have made of this is anyone's guess. Good night.